Hello everyone, welcome back to Mad About Cards and Crafts. Today I'm super excited because I am guest designing for Kelly over at Seven Kids Craft Store. Let me start by showing you the products that I'm going to be using today. I'm using Papery Inks Happy Vibes. If you haven't seen Papery Ink, their stamps are so adorable. Oh my goodness, you need to head over to Kelly's store. She does have them in stock, so take a look at what she has, and she does have a second order coming. Now the Distress Inks that I'm using, because I am going to do an ink blended background, are Mustard Seed, Abandoned Coral, and Lucky Clover. I'm going to start off of my paper. I'm using my Amazon brushes, and I'm putting on a light coat of color. So there's not a lot of pressure going on here. I'm just getting the color laid down. Then I'll come in with a second coat and I will add a little bit more pressure to get a little bit more intensity. I thought these three colors would create a pretty tropical background for my sloth. I am going to do a little bit of water coloring. I did cut out a lot of the water coloring. I didn't think that you needed to see the repetitiveness because there are um, well, I used four on my card and I believe that I colored five. So I didn't leave all of that in, but I did want to show you what colors I used and talk a little bit about that. So here I am just adding that extra intensity. I'm going to bring in my stamped images. I did use Gina K Designs Amalgam Black Ink to stamp these out. It is Copic friendly, watercolor friendly, and that is stamped onto Bristol Smooth cardstock. And I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I did ink blend on Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock. So here I'm coming in with the tropical set, and that is called Paper Bag. I'm laying down just a little bit of color, then I have my brush has water in it. These uh, black silver brush black velvet, I think they're called silver brush brush paint brushes, are, um, they hold water really well so I don't need to go back to my water to get more. So I'm just going to spread that out and while I have a minute, we just had a hop the other day, we had a, a push to a thousand and I want to say congratulations five of my Team Tiny teammates made it to a thousand. They had started a little bit, their channels a little bit before mine and I was so excited that Tracy, Catherine, uh, Kiona, Renee, and of course the wonderful Amanda, that all of them reached their goal. So congratulations to all of them. For those of you that are watching that came from that hop and subscribed to my channel, I want to say thank you. I hope you stay with me. Um, I absolutely love to interact with you. And so leave a comment if you haven't subscribed to my channel. I'm roughly 130 subscribers away from reaching my 1k goal which is a big endeavor for a youtuber so for those of you that have joined thank you for those of you that have not i would love for you to subscribe ring the bell hit the like button and also leave a comment that really does help us along the way so i colored in those leaves with lime and I'm just using, this is very simple coloring, I'm not doing a whole lot of um, blending of colors. And I'm going to move on to my sloths. So I will color the twig with the um, paper bag. And then I'm going to start with my sloths. One of the interesting things that I found, I had to pull out a couple of the brushes from my Winter Wonderland set also from Alta New. And I thought it was interesting that the paper bag was a darker brown than the espresso. I was thinking that that espresso um, was going to give me, you know, more of a, you know, black coffee kind of feel. And it actually happened to be a little bit lighter. So those are the two colors that I will use to color my sloths. I'm going to do it the same way. I'll lay down a little bit of color and then I will come back in and 
intensify it because I don't want to add too much color at first. If you add too much color, even though it's watercolor and you can remove color, it's still, you know, it still changes the look and you can get more wear on your paper. So I tend to err on the on the end of caution and just try to use a, le a lighter hand when I first come in. Um, I also wanted to talk a little bit about Kelly over at Seven Kids Craft. She, as I said, is carrying papery ink and she happens to have some in stock. Now I know that these are stamps that are hard to get your hands on because the lovely person who has designed them has grown so fast that orders are just flying off her shelf. She used to be just a little Etsy store and now she has expanded and Kelly was lucky enough to get these stamps into her shop. So I would recommend that you head on over to Seven Kids Craft. I will have the link in the description box below along with all of the products that I used for this project. Now you see the face of the sloth. I used the espresso for that. So that lighter color is, is the espresso and I used an extremely light hand. I put just a small line of it over the top and then I brushed it out and I didn't add you know a lot of color down towards the bottom. So that's how I was able to keep the face a little bit softer and I think that they turned out super cute. Now I thought that I would start by uh, blending with the faded jeans and I just didn't like the faded jeans with the colors that I had used on the background so I intensified it and brought in my chip sapphire distress oxide and I like that much better I did cut those uh, hexagons out there again from Gina Marie designs I cut them out of Nina 80 pound cardstock and I'm just going to do a little bit of quick ink blending. I did some placement to make sure that I liked the way that the sloths were fitting on them. I wanted something to ground them. I didn't want to just uh, put them onto that background. So I thought these hex uh, pieces worked perfectly. So there you have it. I have them all colored up, ready to go. I'm just going to do um, some lining up. I will use a ruler, but it's not. It's more to keep things straight than it is for me to measure out the distance. I'm kind of an eyeballer. That's just the way that I do cards. So I'm just going to lay this out, see if I like it, and then we'll start assembling. So I have one of those hexes that I tried to stamp on with VersaFine Black Onyx inks. I'm going to stamp the word happy. And the first try, I got it crooked. And so I am just re-stamping this again, getting a straighter cut. I did use tape on half of the uh, sentiment because the sentiment says happy vibes I wanted to make sure that I only got the word happy so I put that tape over the vibes I ink it and then I tear the tape off or pull the tape off and I stamp it that way I don't get any of the black from the tape onto my card panel. I did have a little bit of ink on my fingers so you'll see in the right hand corner that there's a little black ink but that's okay we're going to cover it up with a sloth. I'm just going to line these up. I'm going to glue the hexagons. I think they're hexagons. Please tell me if I'm wrong. I'm going to glue them to the back of my panel just straight down using art glitter glue and then I will put some foam adhesive onto my sloths. I believe I, I, in fact I know, I don't put any adhesive onto the back of those little vines. I, don't, I just glue that directly down. So this has been a crazy week for me. We have been landscaping. We, ha we bought this house about a year and a half ago and we it was plain the landscaping was super plain and so we decided that we wanted to lay some rock and do some other things we've planted probably 20 plus trees on the property and um yeah we've had i think we laid 20 tons of rock which is a lot of rock 
and it has been in the upper 80s with high humidity, which I'm in the Black Hills of South Dakota, so typically we don't get that humidity. But of course, when we decided to do all of this yard work, it has just been super humid and super hot. We finally got the project probably 85% done yesterday, so now I can concentrate a little bit more on making videos, and I'm super excited about that. There is a hop for seven kids on Saturday. Kelly has some new exclusive camp stamp sets that she has um, created. They are super cute, super fun. So please look for uh, some of us on the Team Tiny team. We will be uh, hopping for Kelly and there is a stamp giveaway, so stay tuned for that. So I stamped the vibes out again. I just cut it down with the uh, guillotine trimmer and put a little bit of that mustard seed on there. And here's where I'm just doing a little bit of measuring. I just want to make sure that I know where the middle is and then um, you know again I'm not a perfectionist it's just not my thing so I will lay those down approximately eyeball where I think that they should go and use my art glitter glue to glue everything down. So again, please head over to Kelly's shop, take a look at the products that she has. She has some of the new Whimsy, I know she has the new comic book, a pre-order for the comic book um, slimline die and a couple other slimline dies. I know that many people are enjoying those, so she does have a pre-order for those over on her um, website, so take a look at that and just you know support small business we you know we on YouTube are here to promote small business and support and I'm so happy that Kelly has allowed me to create for her store and I'm hoping that I get to come back and do this again real soon alright so here's where we're gluing everything down and the cards gonna start coming together that back panel is actually Nina solar white a hundred and ten pound cardstock it's a top folding card so it's four and a quarter that's the length of it by five and a half which is the width and I thought about doing a slim line for this but I decided that I will come back with another card and we will do a slim line for that I put the sloth in the lower left hand corner he's kind of in a seated position so I put him on top of the vines and I don't know how easy it is to see but I put the bottom one who appears to be hanging on the vines I put him um, in between those two vines on the right to look as though he were hanging from there you see that I did come in with my Amazon adhesive or foam tape and I am putting that on the back of these cute little critters. You guys, you really have to check out Paper Ink. I'm telling you, they have the most amazing. If you like scene building and you like cute little images, Paper Ink is for you because I just think that their designs are fantastic. They're small enough, um, or big enough, I should say, that they're easy to color and small enough that you can get a lot on your card. So that's going to be it for me. I thank you again for watching. I appreciate you so much. Head on over to Kelly's store and have a fabulous day. Thanks again. Bye-bye.